Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome to the 14th episode of the Isengard campaign. I've just slaughtered uh, a large army even though we had no troops to actually capture uh, thousands of orcs. So we definitely need a war unit in this army. Um, we lost one of the yeah, slaughtered them. So it was a nice battle. Catapult getting the most kills. It also sniped out the general so that was quite interesting. Now. I'm very happy about the feedback on the One Ring episode. It got, it broke records, and none of my videos have ever grown so fast in such a small amount of time. So I'm very happy about it, and I was very happy with the episode. I'm definitely looking forward to start getting some Nazkai generals and such. That's going to be very interesting. Now, Ilkrun, he has a very large army, which we need to deal with. And let's get some of these elites into our army as well. We have to have some trolls now, which we can uh, use, which is going to be very cool. And we are also making solid money. Now, I haven't really seen where we left up last time, so just let's just check up here. Oh uh, yeah, we're hoping that Ori will attack us here. And this rocket is just going to scout out Casa Doom for the meantime. Now we got a lot of enemies now uh, because we took the ring. All the elves, the dwarves of Casa Doom, we're already at war with as well. Dolgul door remnants of Angmar. Okay, so we are at war with quite a lot of factions. Let's get a temple up here, up and going already. Definitely need that. In Lim here as well, we are just, yeah, we're getting shit done. Now, over here, I definitely want to start hitting Thirith Anduin and Rockburg. So let's start preparing an army for that. Yeah, we're already getting elites here. Could probably get some elites here as well. Yeah, we're even getting trolls and we have some strong units already. And this is going to be a nice army. Now, Enwath is still buggering us over here. And they are besieging Taugrish, which we honestly should be able to defend quite easily. Yeah, I'm just going to alter all that. That was great. Luzag gained some experience as well. We're getting troops here in one turn, so that's no biggie. These guys are on their way, it doesn't really matter. These guys as well, but we still have a large force here that can defend pretty easily we can get some works here as well finally start recruiting some units yeah we could just wait a little bit over here and now the barracks would be very useful here considering we need to start attacking the Lamroth and such and we are having some issues over here oh yeah they were actually attacking Tauska Sachertrog so we definitely need to head over there Even though this army is very strong, they're going to be able to easily take out this settlement. But I guess it just defends us against all Amra for a little bit longer. So that's no biggie. We'll have to cancel this one out. It's not going to finish. Yeah, and I definitely think we could just go straight for the barracks. Get some berserkers going out of there. Definitely needed. Now we definitely want to start focusing... A lot more on Gondor, even though the Haradrim seems to be doing most of this work. I'm going to wait a little bit before I start attacking the Haradrim. Now, do we have any wargs in reserve? We really need some wargs in Lord's army. I really want these guys to attack me as well. Kututas Mur will hold up, but let's just bring the Lord up here. Oh, we actually have some trolls here as well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to send the trolls up. It's going to be very fun starting to use some trolls here. Now we can get another catapult here. And in general just recruit lots of units. We have space for like three units and we have this fort. So let's just get some troops going. We're still making loads of money so it doesn't... It is no problem at all. 
We can defend these uh, settlements quite easily. We're just holding the settlement for now. These wargs uh, is much more needed up here. Yeah, okay. We can soon start recruiting berserkers from this place. Yeah, our buildings are doing very fine. Now, I think that's just going to be it for this episode if I have not forgot anything. Here. Yeah, we'll have to wait a little bit more for some more money. Let's just go straight for 30,000. They might have a lot of parts, but we'll figure it out. It will be fine. Let's end the turn. Yeah, so we do have a spy over at the Lamroth land now. And the Lamroth is going to struggle because they're fighting Harald. So if we can just take down the last stack army which spawned for Gondor, uh, the land route is just wide open for us. And that will be some feisty land. Oh, and they went for the bait. The stupid buggers, they went right for our plan. Uri will fall swiftly to the ground. We have one, two, three, four, five units and two and three of them are crossbows. We should be able to handle these dwarves, even though they have some real good units, or not really. They have most of the trash. That's going to play into our favor. Captain Bufur, yeah, they just trash everyone. And then we're going to take Castle Doom right after. So that's excellent. Now I will see on the battlefield, we're going to see, take a look at some of these dwarves. Even though they don't have any elites. Alright, so we're here. Now I actually... Th Put these half orc spear guard in the front line, but I figure out that's a stupid idea. And you know what? That's because we got ten armor and these on these guys, and even the dwarven laborers are actually armor piercing. Now this is like the standard militia unit for the dwarves of Kazadum, but they got a total defense of fourteen, which is very impressive. A six attack is not that great, but against armored units, they will do very well. Uh, and we got the Dwarven Travelers. And these are a missile unit. They have only three missile attack. But they have a great defense, so they're kind of okay in melee after they run out of arrows. Now the other army haven't really arrived yet. So at the moment we're just letting them go straight into our troops. Uh, these Uruk Reavers will perform very well. Um, because they're army piercing. And all the Dwarven stats, like all Dwarves have uh, armor. Um, so it's just, you just want to bring Uruk Reavers and Berserkers against these guys. Definitely Berserkers, they're going to crush units. Uh, we just gotta wait and see for the, the other army. But I will see you on the battlefield when these guys have arrived. Now for one, for a weird reason, they're just sending two units. Uh, but we, we should take a look at the Castle Sentries. They are quite decent spear uh, unit. They have 17 total defense, which is very well. They're skilled against mounts, and they can make shield wall. They have poor attack, but they are very defensive, so they will stack up a lot of kills nonetheless. It's on, it's on indeed. Now let's see what these crossbows can do for us. They should be able to rack up kills in this battle. Because of their armor piercing, they should be able to just Completely devastate lots of these units. I think we have already seen all the units, which is actually in the battle. Yeah, they don't really have castle volunteers. I don't think we have seen just yet. But we'll be able to see them in not too long. But already we're slaughtering them. Our piercing bolts is just too much for these dwarves to handle. Now let's try to get some real, real hits into the backs. You guys start hit over here. And you hit these guys as well. We might want another unit over here. Just as support. Dwarves have an immense large mass. We are getting a lot of friendly fire as well though. Yeah, you see they will start push out soon. Zenith guard. Here is the bodyguard unit for the dwarves. They are very good. They have 34 defense. And most of it comes from their armor, so they can take some real hits if we just give them some crossbow bolts now. This is beautiful though. 
we are definitely targeting them properly. Let's see if we can drop the Zenith Guard down. Like, almost all their stats comes from the armor, so... Our Berserkers and Reavers should also be able to do quite some nice work. If you just bring a large army of Reavers and Berserkers, you can bring down these walls, no problem. But we're definitely getting a lot of uh, friendly fire here as well. But we will win the battle and certainly bring the Dwarven resistance down. We're going to start besieging Casa Doom. Might need a little bit more troops for that, so... They're definitely, they're definitely getting a lot of kills. And now they're starting to run straight through. Now we definitely need some support. Just gotta send in all the units we got just to hold. Berserkers are dropping quite heavily. We are getting more kills than from the fire though, so it's definitely worth it. Do we have another raid unit? Yeah, we're going to place a raid unit over here as well. Raiders will get uh, teared apart by these dwarves, but it's just to have the mass to be able to man maintain them. Now, Uglick, you can actually wait a little bit. Erebor Infantry. I didn't actually realize these guys were in the battle. They are a dedicated, um, dedicated unit. They have 14 defense, 9 attack, so they're a quite aggressive unit. They're very, yeah, they're quite good at holding. Let's just try to go right into them and try to surround them as much as we can. No wonder we're getting a lot of friendly fire here. Yeah, it was just to show you some of these uh, Casa Doom um, units. We are going to be able to tear them apart though, so that's nice. But I, I will just see you after the battle. And there we have won it. They had one unit up here which just did nothing. Uh, oh, it, do it does look like it kind of got bugged. But yeah, we're going to end the battle there. We lost lots of um, men. We lost 1,000. Wow, exactly 1,000. But they lost 2,700 and they are dwarves of Casa Doom. The Warg Marauders got a lot of kills. Uh, the Berserkers as well. So you just see how useful the Berserkers are in this kind of battle. Now we definitely want to keep pushing. But we, we do need more reinforcements up here. So we're going to let the armies just stream up. All the way from... Um, the lands of the Rehirim. Or the former lands of the Rehirim. We need to bring down the belt between us, the the Lorien settlements, and just get rid of the faction entirely. Now I think Casa Doom is going to have a large stack inside Casa Doom as well. So they're probably going to just keep pushing out units. So we need to be cautious. Yeah, this battle we were doomed to lose. We could try to trick that large army into attacking us on a bridge but I do not know if we have enough archers in that army to really make anything uh, value out of it oh, look, yeah. let's see, Erui ok, Taos Asahatrog 1, 2, 3, 4, ah no, this army is quite battered we should honestly just head well they got a lot of generals but it's just like trash we should definitely just head back here and try to recruit units if we are able to. Not yet. Got a lot of units all over the place though. For Kaush. Can only get one war unit. I think these guys are needed over here instead. We do have... Oh yeah, we have some reinforcements there. That's great. Let's just merge these guys and let's get as many as we can. That's great. Faction announcements. Ah, financially, it's only the dwarves of Castle Doom which is performing better than us. And we are going to bring them down. So we're going to be the kings of Middle Earth. 
Let's get some more pikes. This is going to be a nice army to head up here. I don't know how many units they have, but we do have the wargs. Wow, they're already under siege by the goblins. That's actually excellent. Now, Lothlorien have a very large army here somewhere, which we definitely can't handle at the moment. Let's get a spy. We need to investigate this land a bit. And now let's just push out as many units as we can. Let's get the practice range there as well. Okay, I upgrade this place. Yeah, we are very strong financially. Okay, these guys are coming up. These guys are just standing here. We do have a very large garrison here now. Oh, in one turn, we will be able to get some Olog High here, I think. That's going to be nice. Now these trolls. I think we can take out Barador because I think the Nazgul will appear nonetheless. But these guys won't really have Nazgul bodyguards anyways. So I suppose what we should do now... Definitely take these settlements around here. And we should head out for Dol Guldur as well. We are at war with them anyways, so they will start streaming in troops here. Get ready for fighting. Now, what remains of this army? Almost no infantry at all. No sleeping here. We do have more infantry here though, which we can send up. Let's just let Ulex stand there for now, and let's make a proper army here. Saruman don't honestly need all of these guys. Uh, we Yeah, these guys are rely too much on their armor, even though they're armor piercing. Let's send the Berserkers, definitely. Okay, and then just bring in a couple of berserkers. Get ready for fighting. No sleeping here. Yeah, what about some pikes? They could definitely do some work. How much armor? Oh, they only rely on their armor though. Yeah, most of our troops do, and Isengard. No, I mean the Kasadum will definitely take advantage of that. I think no sleeping here. these troops as well, but they're not that. Yeah, let's just bring some raiders. I I believe. However, these pikes do have the pike animation, which will just make them so powerful, anyways. No sleeping here. No sleeping here. Now we do need some more troops down here, though. Okay, let's bring in the crossbows. And some more archers. Yeah, Kassadum is just a real killer against us. But this army, it could be sufficient. No, it, honestly not. If we bring, I think we should bring the pikemen with this army, even though they rely much on their armor. They are going to be able to do some work. We need to go for Kassadum and bring them down as soon as this goblin army is finished sieging them out. They probably have like three or four generals and a lot of strong infantry and we don't really have anything we can't really start expanding southwards we can't recruit any units so we just need to keep pumping up units how long was it until we could get Nazca? it's still 15 turns 
And I think the first Nazgul generals are going to appear in a while, so it's probably going to take quite a long time to get them out. Yeah, we're making solid money. Let's, um... We are going to prioritize troops at this point. It's just about where we want to do it. Let this be a nice recruitment center. If we get the Dark Temple, it's going to give us some experience bonus and retraining costs reduced. And in general, more population growth, some more money. So it's a very nice building to build. Definitely. Uh, we should start upgrading these places as well. Let's get the drill square as many po places as possible. Now, I want to equip lords with some real elites here. Let's uh, kind of remake this army, perhaps. We were getting troops here. Another cat spot will be useful. These guys are just holding down there. Now, this is a nice army. Let's go and bring down Ilkrun. Alright, we don't have any more money to spend, but I think we should send out... No sleeping here. Orders. Yeah, these guys can wait a little bit. Let's just send these guys up north, as well as the Berserkers. But we, should, we could wait one more turn until we get lots of troops here. Okay, let's just end the turn. I don't know at what turn the Nazgul will appear, but I think it is 20 turns after the first, uh, after we acquire the ring, so it should be, a, be about 15 turns or so. So it's going to take a while. Now these guys are upgraded in this version 3, so they can throw f like Natha bombs before they start attacking, so that's going to be such amazing. Like, they are a very powerful unit just without the Natha bombs, but with the Natha bombs you can bring down like any unit I believe. So it's just going to be a powerhouse. That's going to be excellent. What else flourish? Innovation called Ataulurus. Uh, isn't that... Oh! They have actually called an invasion on Saruman. Wow, that's cool. That's actually awesome. Awesome. Okay, Faltofka and Isengard. Yeah, let's get another troll unit and... Oh, wow. Let's wait a little bit. That costs a lot, though. Let's just wait a little bit. I really want to get the Olukai uh, in Faltofka. It's still 24 turns, though. Let's get another troll unit here, though. Or let's just get more trolls going up from Isengard. I think we need to take us a doom very shortly. But that large Loren army is still lurking around as well. Alright, all of these units are going to be available in the next turn. I do not know if this force is strong enough. We're just going to try. It's going to be 11 turns, they have, yeah, they have excellent units, but they might be, might have taken some damage. Now, in Taurus, we don't have enough troops, definitely not, uh, because invasions, they can hit us real hard. Now, these guys are standing on the mountain, so they're going to get very large high ground. So we might want to watch out for that. We could use this army as well. Uh, we should definitely get some more archers in it, but it will be a nice army itself. These berserker units and these guys should now just head up here. I'm going to finish off these two armies with a uh, sheaf lurch, and we're going to see some uh, trolls in the battle. So I will just see you on the battlefield.
Alrighty, they are probably coming for us now with their archers, so let's just start slaying their archers with all of our archers. And I am going to try to snipe out the trolls with some catapult shots, probably. We could, yeah, actually the ballista is more accurate, so I'm going to use the ballista against the trolls, and I'm going to use the catapult against these guys over here. Now our trolls is in the back here, I'm going to use them on the flanks. They are very excellent flanking units, and you definitely want to get their charges off. That's very important. Now see, let's see if we can actually snipe out a couple of trolls. The ballista is very accurate, so we should be able to bring down a lot of them. Now, so they actually feel exactly the same troll unit as we have ourselves. Oh, yes. These catapult shots are beautiful. Let's hope that the ballista can bring some of these guys down. Usually don't get the proper kills when these guys are... Yeah, when they're walking. However, uh, let's see. So, the trolls, we don't want them to face armor piercing units because our trolls have a lot of armor. Even though they only have 10 armor out of uh, 30. So most of the, uh, the defense comes from the defense skill. But the Ologhai have a lot more armor. And we're going to see that in not too long. Even though it's quite many turns until we can recruit them. Oh, that was a nice hit. But just hit the silence wheel for now. And let's start. Get these guys in front here. We're going to have a massive flanking force on the sides. We're not going to take a troll up against troll though. That's not really what we want. Okay, let's get in a charge with these guys. And let's just... Oh yeah, that's some beautiful catapult shots indeed. Let's just bring out all of our units. Now all of these guys can just stop firing. And we're just going to go straight into these guys. Now the Saurons will... We don't want them to face the trolls. They can just hit these... Recreavers, I'm not really too concerned about that. Now the Berserkers are going to go for the Orc Mothers. These Trolls are going to go for the Uruk Bodyguard, which is... Oh, they are actually against... They are actually effective against armor. Now, let's send them around and go for the Orc Host instead. You guys can go for the Uruk Bodyguard. Lurch will just go over here. And the Trolls, we're going to go for the Orc Host. We're going to see some nice action over there. Let's see if we can get in a proper charge. Actually, hit these guys now. The charge is what is deadly with these trolls. They have a 10 charge bonus, which is just excellent. Now, let's see how well they perform. There we go. That's beautiful. Of course, not all of these guys are actually getting killed those that fall to the ground but a lot of them are now the uruk archers is the perfect target actually for these trolls and afterwards we can flank the uruks and run and guard now lurch is probably needed more over on this in the middle over here these guys are not like olokai they are very good but they will they will get slaughtered eventually not slotted, but they will lose. You see, they're already blooded up. Just go over and hit this Orcost. And let's see if these trolls can hit the Uruks in the back. Yeah, it looks like they're going for a new charge. <laughs> we might see some trolls versus trolls here. But we see we have taken down a lot of these trolls because we used our armor piercing units. Now Moran and God is the kind of unit which will just get completely slaughtered by these trolls. Recruits just hit the Uruk bodyguard. We still haven't lost a troll though, I'm quite happy about it.
Yeah, over here we're doing very fine. What about these berserkers? You're crushing it. And now these guys can join, and yeah, they're actually charged the berserkers. Now, if we take another charge into these guys, you might want to switch target with the trolls uh, sometimes because they will get a lot of uh, kills with their charges. So they're kind of like cavalry in some sort. And yeah. Now these, okay, we are winning now. We could probably have used uh, this army a bit more efficiently, but it was more like showing off the trolls and such. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. I just speed this up um, at this point. And there the general goes, and now they will all rout. Let's uh, hope we can survive without losing a single troll. That ha would have been awesome. Now you just. Yeah, do a charge on, the, on these guys. I don't want to lose lurks. He might be kind of blooded up by, at this point. Now, let's see another troll charge in slow. Okay, that didn't work out. We have lost the troll now, guys. They're up against the Sauron's will. They will, of course, get some kills. Now, we definitely need some cavalry in this force. This army is just not... And filling up to the potential because we can't trick out armies into attacking us so we have to just walk up all the hill and such all right but i will see you back at the campaign map all right i think we are just going to go straight for Baradur now i think the nasco is going to appear anyways uh, i have asked in the discord um in arke galdurton's discord uh, so it is very likely However, uh, this place we still want to defend though. But I think these armies can't really do much. And if we stop besieging Baladur, they will have to follow us anyways. And we definitely want the money from Baladur now. Alright. That is awesome. Well, these guys are just needed here for a garrison for now. Utotao's fine. Haladan, they still haven't, they have actually split their forces now, so we can start going for these guys. They always, yeah, always fucks themselves in the ass. Alright, sorry for the language. But it's true though, it's very true. Actually, we just need to empty our tank. They are going to, they're going to bring, like, the invasion is going to hit us hard. So we need all the units we can. Let's bring some real elites up there. We're still making 9,000. And once we take Castle Doom and Barador, we'll be much better off as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. That's alright. I wonder if Lothlorien still had their Doomstack army or if they have used it against Dol Guldor. That would have been very useful and we would have been very lucky if that's the case. Now we don't know about how large the force inside the Thanduin was. So let's see if we are going to be able to handle this situation. That is a shitty army and that is also a shitty army. We have a lot of cavalry. We have two units, even though it's our general. They, have, they outnumber us two to one, but I think we can win this battle. And it will give us some more money, which we need now. So I will see you right after the battle. We utterly crushed them, lost 25. Brought them all down, almost. Only the ones we couldn't capture. And our wargs got some nice experience as well. They will be much needed in the north. Dogledore can probably push out a lot of units. But we're going to be able to use the same strategy against them as we did with the Mordor. Just being able to recruit units out of their settlements very quickly. And I think Dol Guldor is even building troll cages. So we might be lucky and just be able to recruit Olag High 
in not uh, very long after we captured all the other. And from then on, it's just to conquer the whole of Middle Earth, to be honest. Well, I have not decided how far I'm going to stretch this campaign, but we're certainly going to see all the Nazgul. I want to see the Witch King on our side in this campaign, just like uh, in the Remnants of Angmar campaign, which is turning out to be very interesting now. Oh wow, they are just taking head over their water. No, they're, they're taking the taking water over their head. No, that did work out. It's it's some kind of Norwegian phrase, but didn't work out when I translated it. All right, uh, gas bag. Yeah, sure. Oh, I thought it was in this army. Oh Jesus. Yeah, they are calling a lot of farmers now. Orcs of Gundabad and Goblins of Moria. Oh yeah, we're going to be at war with these guys as soon as we capture the settlement. And now Rissian is back. Jeez, he wasn't dead after all. Now, is this army strong enough to deal with these guys? That remains to be seen. Wow, I am not sure about it. There's not much we can do though, Sag of course. Yeah, we can recruit Oluk High here and not too long as well. Let's get the Dream Square here. And there they have their first... Oh yeah, they have a lot of armies here. But it's just trash everything. Ah, we could potentially get these units in the army. Well, I guess we're just going to defeat these armies and then bring them together. Come on. Let's just get a couple of units in here. Let's wait a little bit with us. And the works. You need to go over to Lutz. And they still have their very powerful general up here. They're going to probably get one of these settlements. Oh, it's not long until we can get troops either. Wow, alright. These guys I have not seen at all. They're going to get the settlement, wow. Can recruit units here in not too long. Now our focus gotta be up here though. That's already a strong army and with these guys it's going to help even more. We're getting the units we need though. That's great. How much culture? Oh yeah, it's already fine. Let's just get these guys be able to recruit here. That's the important now. Now I'm going to use these guys as a scouting party. A Drykan. A Rockbird should be easy to take out. But the Rissian is of course a threat. Let's just see how large garrison these guys. Okay, we're not even sitting now properly. But we definitely do want to get the money here, but... We want to be able to defend Saruman as well. This is a tricky situation, most certainly. I respect you, my they have at least got rid of some of their units. But this is Elven Elites. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. Alright, we're going to bring out a couple of units here. They're going to move in here in not too long. No sleeping here. If he attacks, we do have these units which will be able to reinforce at least. Get ready for fighting. We still have some money we can spend. Let's get these guys. Just fill up with elites in all our settlements. Drill square. I suppose why not. Need this to be a real recruitment center, just like 
we do when we're playing as Gondor. I'm probably just going to hit Maunag as in Mordor so that we don't have to face him over in Lorien. It's just armor upgrades. Okay, I'll have to bring down these armies. I will do it off camera and I will be back after it. There he goes. We actually slaughtered the invasion army as well. I just thought, why not? We only lost 9%. Uh, we didn't, uh, we weren't able to capture them all. Just proving once again why you need a warg unit in your uh, roster. Let's see if we can get to capture some more guys over here. Just surround them from all sides. Trolls did excellent. We only lost like one troll and they have all very nice experience now. Oh, I was supposed to die. Just, just hit them hard. Alright, yeah. we got a lot of them though. So 154 lost. Trolls, both of them doing very good. The Urkai Archers and the Catapult did very well though. Ballista actually only got one uh, bolt, only one bolt shot into the enemy. Quite weird, but it just was hard for it to fire. It bugs out sometimes. I have more troubles with ballistas than with catapults. I don't know why that is. Now, they don't really have much to repel us now. We could potentially just go straight for Baradur now. Let's execute them all. Oh, this could potentially be a treaty for us. Oh, yep, we are going to get Baradur. Rongu is going to follow after us and we're going to slaughter them all. However, we're not going to be able to capture them all. So they're probably going to get a lot of their units back into the city. So, But we'll have to see about it. Muskar, just trash. Rongu, just trash. I'm also just going to fight this battle off camera as well. As you see, we are utterly slaughtering them. We lost 6%, but we're just not going to capture them. So I don't think we're going to capture Baradur. If we only had one war unit, this would have been completely different. Well, yeah. But yeah, we are... Mordor is just up for conquering. Without the Nazgul, they don't. They can't really do much. And once we have the Nazgul on our side, it's going to be so amazing. The trolls did very well again, but the AI is just stupid, and it's just letting our catapult get hundreds of kills. Yeah, these guys are not going to be able to capture anyone. I think. All right, we're going to end it there. 1 in 4 lost, 2,500 killed. 2 in 2, Urukai Archers, Catapult, 245. So we're just a dedicated army with a lot of archers and a mainline infantry which can just hold, you can do a lot. It's not the trolls that is driving this army, it's the Catapult, the archers and the holding. So once we get some Urkai pikemen and such, just imagine what we can do with such an army. You just have a very powerful mix of units. Yeah, they are going to be able to... Can attack this though. We don't really have enough uh, infantry. But we're just going to siege Baradur for now. That is fine. That's a nice start. That might attract these guys to go, go over there. No sleeping here. Now let's send these guys over here as well. I don't think there's anyone that can attack that army just at the moment. Alright, can we do anything else this turn? Get ready for fighting. Murfintur and yeah, Findigil is the real threat here. And if Findigil and these two mix up together. Alright, I'll have to f yeah, kill this off camera. 
Alright, we just talked them. One of the generals got away. Now Lucron is going to get a couple of reinforcements. Let's just put these guys in here. Let's merge the army. These guys we can get rid of. These guys as well. And with these reinforcements, we should probably just bring them together now so they don't attack. And now we can deal with this army which doesn't have a general. Even though it's a pretty powerful army, probably. Alright, let's just get these guys. Let's just get this unit streaming out of here. And yeah, let's just put these guys in the fort for now. Over here, we need to remember. Yeah, we have gotten some troops here. We are already recruiting. Yeah, we'll be able to deal with them, I think. Let's just send these battered troops uh, all the way down here. Objective complete. Still just sieging this place out. And Rissian, we'll just have to see what he does. It's been a long turn for me now, doing a lot of battles off camera. Alright, we'll have to... Have to end the turn. Let's see what will happen. In our vast realm, a lot of things can happen, of course. Now, when we take out Khazadum and Baradur, we'll gain probably like... Mm, around 10,000 more per turn. Oh, wow, they are attacking Tau Lurus. Oh, they went for that little fort. Let's see what will happen over there. They are really pushing now, Gondor. I don't know why they're pushing west. They're having a lot of generals as well. They are probably going for Uskdor. We should try to place our new army on the bridge and make them attack us. On the other hand, they are... Wow, they have a lot of armies now. Just pushing hard. We want to make sure we are able to bring out Captain Findegil before any general joins that army. That's the thing though. Taulurus. Gorgoroth besieged. Yeah. Maltak. Alright, let's just bring some units together. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh yeah. And these guys. And these guys. We have space for four units. We actually have way more. Let's just bring of these arches together as well. Come on. And let's just use this as a... Yeah, they don't really have any troops. Alright, we'll have space for these guys. And we can probably just get rid of some some crossbows, I believe. And just put these guys in the army. That's a powerful... We want to be able to bring down Baradur, actually, with, it, with that army. We could probably besiege it for the subscribers, I suppose. Let's get some rolls up and going here. Let's get more of these guys. Actually, we don't definitely don't need any more of these now. This army should probably attack Ilkrun. No Nazgul will have appeared yet. It'll be interesting to see what will happen. Yeah, the Lamrod is holding up pretty well so far. Steward Mayanon. Yeah, it's just small armies though. They don't really have anything here. Captain General Deadwarin. Pelilas. And I suppose these guys are needed back here. As Enwath is actually coming for us. Alright, now let's get these armies together. 
Listen up! Pick your feet up, orcs! They have a couple of units here. Get ready for fighting! Pick your feet! Listen up! Get ready for fighting! Listen up! Great group, get ready for fighting! Orcs! We don't have a general here, but we'll probably be able to adopt one. Okay, so I think down here. If we place these guys on the bridge, they should probably attack us. They should be superior to us. And these two units can be able to hold this out for now. Not long until we can recruit. Suppose these guys can be sent over here now, and these guys can be sent in the fort. One more turn. This army is just standing idle for a moment, which is fine. There we go, nice. Let's get the trolls here. Get ready. No sleeping here. And I suppose it's pretty stupid to just have this large upkeep. However, they're standing on the mountain here. It's going to be terrible to attack them. We might want to try to trick them I'm into attacking us. Alright, no let's just bring here. and avoid a couple of units. Like this, it should be tempted to attacking us. And what if we actually stand in the mountain? Now they should definitely want to attack us either at Kutatas or up here. And I suppose with these kind of units, there's nothing really stopping us from attacking this place. We just have lots of trash here. Yeah, this is going to be for the next episode, the Siege of Barador itself. That's going to be interesting. Now, we are starting to have some powerhouse armies here. I think it's going to be an interesting situation up here as well. We'll have to see what we'll do with Tudisian. I hope we are going to be able to defend. We might want to send a couple of reinforcements from Limhir. Yeah, it's possible. Respect you, but they I still have very strong units here. It's doubtful it what we can do here. But uh, <laughs> of course, we'll not lose Saruman. They're going to be mad here, but. Get ready for I respect you, my enemy. I think we're just going to stand. Get ready for fighting. Regroup, you loud. Yeah. We're just going to stand him over here. So he will uh, reinforce when you. they attack. We're just going to siege at Castle Doom for the meantime. Because attacking them, let's just see. Yeah, they're getting such strong reinforcements. And they have one unit of Sons of the Fallen. One unit of Dragon Slayers. And they have t three generals. Yeah, there's no way we can do that. So we're just going to siege them out for now. But we can't lose Salman. Then we'll no longer be able to... No longer be able to get these guys. But don't worry, we're going to win that battle. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. No sleeping here. These guys as well, heading north. Listen. We have enough armies to actually bring down these settlements. We could, if we were lucky, these guys would just siege us forever and we'll be able to take down these settlements before this guy actually brings us down. But now I'm just speaking too much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave some feedback, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys for the next episode.